Hey everyone, welcome to Sims World. So, in this episode, you guys will take notice right away that Jonah and Noah are not here. They are at work and school. I sent them away before the um, episode started so they weren't missing anything. So, um, first things first, let's fill up this food bowl now that Milo has eaten um, Iris. And then Iris is actually going to call up some um the nanny even though she's not gonna go anywhere um but she really took in the last episode when of sims world when her brother chad slash son chad had revealed that he really wants to meet his biological father now that she has officially came clean and told him that he is actually her son, and he took it very, very well. Um, so she's actually going to go ahead and hire a nanny, even though um, she's going to be here to help out with the kids. Um, she's going to be here to help out with the kids as well, but she wants to hire a nanny a little bit so that she has someone to look out over the kids while she does something. And that something is she wants to find her ex-boyfriend from high school. So the only thing that she knows is her journal entries. And her journal entries state that his name is Holden and his last name is Holden Jockson. So we don't know anything else about him. We don't know how he looks. We don't know how anything like that. But all we know is she remembers his name is Holden Jockson. And that she originally did not tell him that she was pregnant with Chad. And so she and him broke up before she um, got with Chad or before she had Chad so she's going to go ahead and change the woolly baby's diaper meaning Violet Noah is home as well so Noah's going to do his homework while she is going to be on the internet searching for some type of hint on where Holden could be. So, we don't know exactly where he's going to be yet. But, she's going to be searching. And searching for a reason. And possibly to find him in depthly. <clears throat> so she's going to get on the internet and find or attempt to find Holden or attempt to find some hints to find Holden. So while she's doing that, she is going or everybody else is kind of doing their own thing. The nanny is here, so the um, kids are not being not watched at all. Um, they're outside playing. They're outside playing, and Noah is here somewhere. He's uh, actually he's over here doing his homework at the bench, kind of getting a little bit of peace and quiet. So that's quite unique. So Noah, you're actually a little hungry, friendo, and um. The nanny is very, very good at cooking, so he's actually cooking something, so maybe you can go on in here and um, wait for some food. That would be absolutely amazing. So. The nanny is actually doing a pretty decent job 
However, Nicole is there. Where is Violet? Okay, so Violet is outside still playing. And Jonah is home now. So Jonah is going to actually take over the duties of taking care of the kids. So, um, again, I said it really wasn't going to be a long nanny stay. But still, he was here to kind of just keep a close eye on them through the window here in the kitchen and making sure that everybody's okay. So he is going to go ahead and let the nanny know that they really don't need him anymore. And then he's actually going to go ahead and finish cooking what the nanny had started, which was it looked like eggs and toast. Um, and then he, when he's done cooking, He's going to eat, and he's actually going to go ask Iris if she found anything out. So he actually leveled his cooking up to level 5, so that's pretty good. And um, so now he's going to go ahead and ask her how everything is going and see if she found out any new information on Holden because she did obviously reveal to him that his name was Holden and etc. So she said, the only thing new I found on him is he is living in Brindleton Bay. So I don't know his address yet, but I'm trying to figure that out. Um, maybe you could give it a try, being that you're a little bit better with computers than I am. So, I'm going to go grab, use the restroom and that, and maybe you could take a look and see if you can search and find out any information that you could have. So, when he's done eating, he's going to get online and see if he could find anything new. Um on the address possibly so I think I think he's done or no actually he's just going to sit with Nicole so that is okay as well um, Iris when you're done there I kind of want you to uh, go ahead and do some laundry because we have to do some laundry it hasn't been done in a little bit of time so could you at least put it in the washer and start it please And so she's going to go ahead and do some laundry. She's going to put it in the washing machine and start washing the clothes. And then Jonah should be done now. Yes, he is. So he's actually going to go ahead and give it a shot at finding this address for us. So he's going to go ahead and do that, and Iris is going to go ahead and grab these Italian meatballs that she was planning on eating and just sitting and chilling with her daughter. And Noah, friendo, are, are you doing? Okay, I think... Milo is um, asking to go potty, so I'm not sure, but you should be able to put a leash on him. Okay, I don't think he can actually put a leash on him, so he is going to just ask her or him to go outside and go potty. And then 
We're gonna check on Jonah here in a few minutes to see if he found anything new. So Milo has officially learned to go potty outside. That's amazing. Milo still needs a bath, even though I could have swore I had Jonah give him a bath, but apparently I didn't. So, Noah, you can't just leave your dog outside by itself, so go ahead outside with it, at least. And then, as much as this is gross, you got to throw away... the dog poop and then we are going to go ahead and come inside okay so let's see what Violet's doing because it, she it is getting late so Violet why don't you actually go ahead and head into bed and I'll have Iris come on in and um, tuck you in and then she's going to check in with Jonah to see if there's any new news. Okay, Jonah has finally found the name of the address and everything. He says it is Brindleton Bay and it is the boathouse. So he's going to come in and tuck in little Nicole or Violet as well. And then he's going to go ahead and tell her. So, because in the morning... They are going to head over and possibly she can reveal it to um, Holden that he does have a son. Um, even though it's going to be a bit of a surprise, I think that it's well overdue. It might be a little bit of a time that things could get a little bit heated. We don't know how Holden's life is put together now. She said that she hasn't talked to him since before even Chad was born. So. So they are both going to go ahead and hit the hay and see if. Um, tomorrow brings Holden. So I'll be back in the morning when the, someone gets up. So Jonah has gotten up feeling a little bit upset in his stomach. And that is because he is a little bit nervous about meeting Holden. And that's actually pretty, pretty interesting. But Noah is up as well and he has to go to the bathroom and... So, Jonah has decided that it's probably best if we don't kind of bombard him right away. So, when Iris gets up, she... He, so, right now, he's actually going to go on the internet and see if he could find a phone number for 
him and see if she, they can get a hold of him that way and see if that will allow him to answer the phone and kind of get in touch with him that way before kind of bombarding him and then leaving that other option in the second way. Oh, but first, Noah has asked him some kids at school were being mean to one of his friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What should I do? Um, so he can either say step in and stand up for your friend or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. I think Noah would say step up and stand in. Or Jonah would. So he's going to go online and see if he could find a phone number. Because he was the one that found the address. So I think he's going to do really well at this. Um, so Noah is getting up and... Re um, ready for something to eat. Actually, no, he's not. He's actually doing some cleaning up of some food that was left out, which I totally forgot about. So let's see what if we have anything else in the refrigerator, though, that he could eat. Okay, so we do have some Italian meatballs for him to eat. So he can definitely go ahead and grab something of that. But Jonah just officially found his phone number. So he is going to go ahead and tell Iris that he found the phone number for him. So, and what his plan is instead of going ahead and bombarding him by just showing up randomly at this guy's house. So. So he is waking her up to tell her because I think that this is a big um, thing to reveal um, to her. And I think she um, is going to want to go ahead and call him up right now and see if there is... some sort of thing that they could do about this. So he's telling her that he doesn't think that they should bombard him like flies. So actually she did call him and she left a voicemail for him so I'm hoping that he calls her back. But so she did leave a voicemail for him um, he might be still sleeping, he might be out of the house, he might be busy, or he might have just ignored the phone call. But, she did let him know, she said that this is Iris, I know we haven't talked in a while, and I know this is very, very weird to, um, hear from you, me, but I need to tell you something, I need to tell you, um, very very important thing and I am not getting in touch for you for anything besides the fact that this big thing that I need to reveal for you and I need to reveal it in person so is there any way that we can meet up somehow or some way please get a hold of me at this number and then we will go from there. And now we just wait for some type of phone call or thing. And so Jonah has decided we'll give it a few days. And if he doesn't reply, then we'll go with plan B, which is to head into the house. Maybe he didn't get the phone um, message. Or maybe he did and he just ignored it. So who knows? But that is their plan, and they are eventually going to let Chad in on the plan as well that they did this. So 
They're actually going to go ahead and call Chad up in a little bit and reveal what they have planned to do. So, the kids are starting to kind of get up, meaning Nicole and them. Nicole is actually pretty good, but Violet is very hungry. So, um, Iris or Jonah, one of you two, could you please go ahead and, and feed Iris, please? Or feed Violet, please. I'm sorry. So how about we give her some yogurt? So Jonah's going to go ahead in and feed her. How are you doing with your... Okay, he still needs to get his logic up. Um, so let's see what he can do to get his logic up. I'm not really sure. Um, use the microscope test or read logic books. So, I don't know if we have any logic books. So, let me see. Do we even have a bookcase? I think this thing here in, the, in Nicole's room is the bookcase. So, let me see if we have logic books. I don't think we do. You might have to buy some logic books. Yeah, we are going to go ahead and buy them logic books so that he could possibly get a promotion. Um, he won't get it today because he has to go in in like an hour or whatever. So he won't get that, but he's going to go ahead and order the logic books. So he's going to order the first and the second copy. So he has them. And then... Oh, where am I going? He is chit-chatting with Violet, who seems to have thrown her food on the floor. So, she might not be hungry anymore, because it did seem like she did eat some. Noah is off to school. So we're going to have him make some friends um, today. Maybe he can make some new friends. And um, he is going to go ahead and let Violet out of her high chair. And then I think we need to do some potty training because Violet really hasn't did any potty training in a little while. So... Um, and Iris is using the restroom, so I don't know why he's putting her back in there, but anyways, what is Nicole up to? She might be outside playing, so let me see. I've lost the child. No, I haven't. She's right there. Okay, she is using her diaper, which is not great, because she is definitely getting older now, so we definitely need to start working on some potty training more often in this house I definitely think that that is something we need to do so matter of fact Iris could you actually go ahead and get that potty training done get her to use to the potty some more so we're getting some potty training done on both ends of Jonah and Iris so, Iris, I told you to train her to go potty, so I don't know what you're doing, but, okay, Nicole is actually asking for food, so that is fine. We'll potty train her in a bit when she's done, but, um, still no word from Holden, but, um, Jonah has got to go though because she's got he's got to go to work. But Iris is here watching her potty as well. So he's po she's potty training her as well. And so So Jonah's off to work. 
and Noah did meet a friend, but I didn't catch her name, so let me go ahead and do that. Let me read off her name real quick. Oh, Violet can use the potty now. Noah met Sharya. Sharya. I'm probably pronouncing that name, like, horribly wrong. Oh, Noah has mastered the art of paper airplane and can't wait to try his original supersonic design. He already finished his worksheet and the substitute isn't looking. Maybe now is a good time. I think he waits to race us. Noah, I think, is a good kid. All around a good kid. So, um, we need to move the clothes to the dryer and start that. So, and then we need to come in here and let Nicole out of the high chair. Um, Violet, why are you upset? Okay, so she's upset because Jonah will have to go to work. That's okay. So she did move him to the dryer, but she didn't start it yet because she wants to get um, Nicole out of the high chair. Okay, and now she's going to go ahead and start the dryer. And then we do need to clean this off. So let's go ahead and clean off the um, high chair. The violet is outside playing. So that is fine. And I think her sister is coming out to play with her, so that's also fine as well. And so... Chad is actually wondering if we want to meet up someplace. Maybe he's ask, wanting to know if uh, she heard anything. So actually, we are going to go ahead and call up Chad now and reveal to him that, that we did find some information on his dad. Oh, Jonah has noticed a pattern in his manager's expense reports and it appears that the manager is embolizing money from the company. Does Jonah report it or try to blackmail the manager into sharing the profits? I think he would report it. So Jonah sends an email to the accounting department to have them stop the embezzlement. Perhaps there will be a management spot open for Jonah soon. So, I mean, so now she's talking to him. She said, we did feel, uh, we did um, find some things out about your biological father. Obviously, I can tell you now his name is Holden. I know he lives in Brindleton Bay, and we know his address, and I know his phone number potentially. But I want to wait till um, do it. We did call him up, and we want to um, meet up. So we got to wait for him to reply. And Chad said, I think that's a grand idea. And so I'm hoping that he goes ahead and replies. So, guys, I am going to go ahead and end it out here. So... Next time, we should be possibly getting a little bit closer to Holden. Um, or maybe we will actually hear something from Holden. Who knows? But I'll see you guys all tomorrow for some Paradise. Um, which is a big, big event coming up in that as well. So you guys will not want to miss that as well. So have a great day. Peace. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.